Um, today is really an incredible day. This is a truly unique business. It's a full service restaurant and a microbrewery. And it provides dining options on the boulevard. It provides nighttime activity. And what it really provides is wonderful beer as well, too. A product, the only locally owned microbrewery in the Antelope Valley, and a product that is brewed here, and a wonderful product, something that will be sold from here, and it, you'll see it all over California, these craft beers. One of the city council and Mayor Paris's top priorities has been job creation. And it's been to give the community a focus and a sense of community. That's not just for public safety, going for neighborhood watches and business watches, but it's to give us that sense of community, that sense of belonging. Part of that is to have a good mix uh, on the boulevard. Kinetic fills all of those goals. They will provide this with something that's not here and something that's not in the Antelope Valley. But what they also have done with this, with Pueblo Viejo and with uh, Port Divino is used in this development all local contractors to build this. Let's give them a hand for that. <laughs> Kinetic alone is going to employ 24 permanent, um, uh, permanent employees. That's 24 new jobs created by this alone. This is a one-of-a-kind destination. But one thing you should know about um, locally owned uh, businesses, they provide 70% more economic impact per square foot than chains. It's documented national studies. So what we have here is someone who is giving back to the community something that's not only fun, but pr provides all of us with additional economic activity, jobs, funds, support of other local businesses. This is really a pleasure, and it is uh, someone who has gone through a lot uh, when you read his bio, but someone who has an optimism for business, optimism for the product he has, and, and a, a, a great friend, Steve Kinsey. Cheers. Thank you all for coming. Uh, Fourteen years ago, as a burgeoning home brewer, I would have, I've dreamt of doing something like this. Never would have thought it possible. And even until recently, I never would have thought it possible if it were not for Scott Ehrlich and his vision for this downtown. And thank you very much for, uh, for helping to make that dream come, come true, Scott. <clears throat> In addition to Scott, my other uh, business partner, Mel McLaren, helped or did build this wonderful, wonderful building. And I have had daily comments in the last week that we've been open asking from people, um, what's been here, what was this What was this before? Somebody just last night said, was this an old fire station? And I've had people thinking that it was a, an, a hardware store, people from out of town. People from Philly last night thought it was a, an old fire station. And uh, it just lends to the, uh, the, the ability of, uh, of Merrill and his uh, insight on this, in, uh, on, on this building to make it look and feel the way that we want it to look, to look, have the feel of an old, um, an old pub, a public place that you can go and gather and, uh, and get together with your friends. That's really all I have to say. I don't have much to say. But other than thank you very much for to Insight and to Scott and to Steve English, to Merrill for making the wonderful building and uh, for the beer. Cheers. One of the things uh, that I touched upon, but I'd like to really give uh, Mayor Paris and the council credit is, it is not an easy decision during an economic downturn to do economic development and to put yourselves out there and to believe that there are now 40 businesses in the city that want to come to this boulevard. And that only happens with a great belief and facilitating it and by um, um, sowing the ground, so to speak. One of the programs that the council and Mayor Paris uh, did pass in 2010 is the Commercial Property Improvement Program to help get businesses started and help give the boulevard the look it has today. Uh, we have one of our staff members who's uh, worked on this program tirelessly, and I'd like to ask Shannon to explain this a little bit for us. Shannon Dow. The Commercial Property Improvement Program was enacted under the insightful leadership of our City Council in March of last year, and it enabled Boulevard businesses to apply for up to $40,000 in grant funding to help improve their facades. Now, it also required a matching interior, it, a matching contribution which could be done through either tenant improvements or further improvements on the facade. This has been an excellent investment for the city of Lancaster. We've put $40,000 into this facade outside here, and we've gotten a $500,000 investment in the local construction industry out of this job because there's all this other work to be done, in addition to, as Mark mentioned earlier, the 24 permanent jobs that have been created out of this. 
Um, we have had great success through our facade program with other businesses such as the wine bar, Porto Vino, Pueblo Viejo. We have a Cajun restaurant that'll be opening within the next few weeks, and it's been an excellent program, but we couldn't do any of it without our private partners. So I'd like to give them another round of applause for deciding to jump in in the middle of a recession and just make this happen. You know, this is a great example of when the city comes together as one with a goal that we're determined to make this happen. As we're saying, the way that the economy is, it's, it's a little bit challenging to try to make our dreams come true, but this is a great example as you shared with us that your dream has come true. And that's when you build partnerships. And again, the city of Lancaster has proven that we are strong, and when we set our mind to do something, we will make it happen. And that's because of the great partnerships that we build here. So we need to applaud all of us today for making all these dreams come true. About uh, a little over a year ago, um, Merrill approached me and <clears throat> with his idea of, of doing a pub on the boulevard. and. As soon as he shared that with me, I was so excited. Um, I think back about eight years ago when Ron Smith and I went to a Planners Institute and came across a presentation on revitalizations of downtown. And um, kind of funny, as there's a connection there, <clears throat> after we did the presentation, uh, we went off and went to a brew pub in Monterey and drank a couple of beers and talked about what downtown Lancaster could be. And here we are, it's like deja vu. We're full circle and started off with Merrill's idea and then bringing Scott and Steve, the, the brewmaster, together. I mean, we've got a, a piece down here that just fits with downtown uh, Lancaster, the boulevard. And <clears throat> Steve can attest, and so can Merrill, that, it, that Friday afternoons, this seems to be my, I hate to say this, but watering hole. <laughs> and uh, and so I, it seems like I've got a like a home here at usually Friday afternoon at about five o'clock on one of the tables over there. I usually uh, leave a deposit of a dollar or two with the guys. And uh, but again, I, I again this is so great to see a vision like this come to to to, to light. And and I thank these three guys for having the vision and and working together to to bring this great new business down to the boulevard. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate that. We thank you all for coming. Everyone up here is available for the media. Uh, for those uh, that aren't in the media, please take some time to introduce yourself to Steve and to Merle and get to know them and thank them for uh, uh, taking a leap of faith and putting a tremendous asset for this community. Thank you all for coming.